any type tutorial and review features walkthrough and everything you need to know hey guys welcome back in this video i'll show you guys the quickest tutorial on any type now with any type you can do a lot of different things and any type is a tool that is so versatile and can be so helpful in many different ways you will find that you can accomplish task management, manage your day-to-day -day task, have management with your team members, your collaborators, for your business, for your employees, for your workspace, while still being able to enjoy everything personally with your own daily tasks, lists, and milestones. So let's get started with any type. To get started, simply head on over to anytype.io and then click on get the app. Once you click on get the app, you will see their application and you can click on get Mac app and then you can choose the type of device you have to download the application. Now, if you go into your app store and you search for the AnyType app, you can open up your app store and if you search for any type over here you may not find it in your app store so that is why you have to go into anytype.io now additionally if you're not using a mac device you can click on other platforms to see all the other supported platforms this includes desktops such as linux and standard windows web clipper and you also can download the ecosystem of any type into your iOS and Android devices. So it's really a universal tool that you can access from anywhere and use with any device. Now, once you have downloaded your application, you will be able to see it in your app. So if I open up my launchpad, I should be able to open up any type. So going back into our actual window, Let's take a look at our applications from here and from here we can find any type. So now if I click on any type, this will pop up and I can get started. And once I click on open over here, it's time to get started with any type. Now, first off, you can choose if you have a new vault or if you already have a key to your old vault. I will click on new vault and I will get started with my first vault. So first off, you're going to get the key. Now it's local first and then it's also online. Now this is the key that you want to copy. You can show this key or just keep it copied and you can paste that into a note. So you can just open up your stickies or like this and then just paste in your code like so. Now once you've done that, you can click on skip over here and then you can set your name. So we're going to set our name like this and click on enter my vault. And now from here, it's time to get started with all the different spaces that we can build. It includes things like collaborative spaces, dashboard, work-based spaces, freelance, education, personal growth, projects, food and nutrition, travel, hobbies, and much, much more. Now, before we get started, we are going to first understand our any type tasks. Now on the left, you have your entry space from where you will see the ownership. Now in a share space, this will be a different space from your entry space because the entry space is a space that cannot be shared. This is going to be only for you. Now on the left, you will see your homepage with different ideas for you to get started. Then you have some different sample tasks. Now below that, you're going to see their favorites and then you have your tasks. Now in tasks, you can write up any task that you want. You can basically use this as a more useful and effective note-taking application. Then you also have all objects. This will include any pages, bookmarks, notes that you're creating. Now this is going to be helpful in finding something really, really specific or odd that you cannot find or categorize elsewhere. Then you will have a bookmark section and then a notes application. So let's get started with actually using some of their libraries to get started with managing our daily life. So first off, I'm going to click on home page and I'm going to create a new home page. Let's say this is going to be my life goals like this or yearly goals, let's say. I'm going to add my yearly goals like so. 
Once I've done that, I can do a slash. And once I type in a slash, you will see different commands that you can actually add. This includes things like relations, projects, collections, tasks, notes. So I will add a project and I can link my goals to my project as well. However, as of now, I'll build a simple list for my goals. Now, for that, firstly, I'm going to go into yearly goals and then I'm just going to type in slash and then I will build a simple list. So I will just add a task like this and I can use some of my tasks. So let's say this is going to be maybe to read 10, read 12 books like this. And this is going to be our first task and it will be synced up. Now, this can be a bit awkward to use if you're not setting up your particular tasks or your particular goals if a, in a correct order. So if you're creating a page on the top right, you're going to see this option of featured relations and you will see all the items related to this object and all the links that are created. Then on the top right, you can create widgets as well. So you can click on this over here and use any widget like the one that you see over here. Now, in this particular entry space, you can go on ahead and use some of these templates to get started, which include their workspace template. So if you go into explore over here, you will see uh, some you know really nice templates and I will use one to show you guys what they look like. So this is a dashboard, this is a fully integrated experience, personal and work CRM. So you will see this is a really nice one. This is really customizable as well. So for that, I can click on install and I can click on create new space. And I would like to create a new space for this. Now I can click on go to space over here. Once I click on go to space, you will see a home section by default. On the left, you will see your para or project section areas, resources, and archived. Now you will see the way that this is structured is that you can create objects within your project. So first off, I'll create my first project, which is going to be my, let's say, uh, transcription project like this. And then below that, I can add more info about this. So this includes things like tags, information, images, and documents. On the bottom, you will also see a mind map illustration and a simple quick create tab. Now, once you have created your first task or your first project, you can move towards the second one. In the same way, you're going to set up your areas, resources, and archive tasks. Now, if you want to build a more dimensional space, you can click on create new object. And then on the top, you're going to add the basic info. So let's say this is going to be related to transcription, and then I can add a new object within that. So let's say I want to create something like a secondary video editing project like this, and then we can just add that within our first project. So I hope you guys found this video helpful and you are now able to get started with using the Anything IO application. If you did find this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you have any questions or queries, leave those in the comment box down below. I would love to know what you guys have to say.